Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to look at coastal erosion processes. So we'll start off with hydraulic action. Very common during destructive waves and storm-like conditions. And this type of coastal erosion involves the actual waves crashing against the rock or the cliffs or the side of the coastline. And then the waves actually compress the air within those cracks and they begin to expand leaving the cracks to widen and eventually wear away over time in the cliff face. Our second type of coastal erosion is known as abrasion. This process of erosion involves the waves actually throwing rocks, pebbles, boulders at the cliff face during storm-like heavy wind conditions and these will then hit the cliff face and then scrape down and rub against those cliff faces, removing small pieces along the way, a little bit like sandpaper. Our third coastal process is known as attrition. Now attrition involves the waves themselves and within the waves in the water, we have particles moving around. And if we were to zoom in on those particles, we'll notice that those eroded particles in the water actually smash into each other and break into smaller fragments. This will then result in edges being rounded off as they rub together and bash together. And this is why sometimes on the coastline, you can find those perfectly rounded stones and pebbles because attrition has taken place. And the final type of coastal erosion process is known as solution. Solution is where we have weak carbonic acid in the seawater. And because of the acidity of the water, when it comes into contact with a cliff face, which is made up of materials such as chalk or limestone, the carbonic acid present in the seawater will slowly dissolve the rock particles and eventually wear away the coastline very, very slowly. So just a quick summary then of the definitions we've just gone through. There are four types of coastal erosion. Hydraulic action, when we've got waves crashing against the rock and compressing that air. We've got abrasion, where particles get thrown at the cliff faces. They scrape and rub down like sandpaper, removing small pieces from the cliff. We've got attrition, where they bash into each other and we get those rounded edges. And then we've got solution involving the acidity of the water slowly dissolving the rock, such as chalk and limestone. So that concludes this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.